What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It's Brett Maverick here. I hope you all are having an excellent day so far. So I did a Q&A a couple weeks back and all of you seem to really enjoy it. And most importantly, I really enjoyed it. <laughs> it was a lot of fun making that for you guys. I thought, hey, maybe I'll do another video kind of like that, you know, where you guys can learn a little bit more about myself and I can kind of express who I am personally to you guys. So that's what we're doing today. I saw Alexis Ren, you know, that super hot supermodel. She posted a video of uh, 50 facts about her and I thought it was really cool, but 50 facts is way too much. That takes way too much brain power. So I'm just doing 25 facts about myself. Maybe later on down the road, I'll do some more fact videos like this, but that's all based on the activity and the uh, interaction that you guys give to me back. So uh, let me know in the comments, give me some feedback what you think about this video and uh, we'll go from there. First things first, I just wanna show you my hair right now. I got a little man pony going on. I just had to clarify that because I know from the front you can only see this part and it looks kind of weird. I feel like you gotta kind of see both sides, front, back, the whole thing to get the whole you know effect. So that's the hair right now. Let's get into fact numero uno. <laughs> okay, so fact number one is I was named after a really old cowboy in a TV show called Brett Maverick. Tonight on Brett Maverick. Um, I guess he was this really tough, really cool cowboy uh, character and my parents liked that show and liked the name so that's why they named me that. I work at a restaurant. I work part-time at a Texas roadhouse. It's a steakhouse and I completely love my job. <clears throat> <clears throat> but actually, that brings me to my next fact. I will be quitting my job when I hit 50,000 subscribers on YouTube. So, uh, if you guys could help me out with that, that'd be uh, really awesome. I'd definitely appreciate you guys getting me there as soon as possible. Next up, I was Instagram famous before I had any sort of uh, presence on YouTube. I had about 60,000 followers on Instagram before I even you know, made my first video. I'm horrible at Instagram though. I'm really bad at Instagram. Um, I don't really know why, <laughs> but I can't seem to post consistently on Instagram. It's kind of like just a whenever it happens, it happens type thing, whether it be, you know, every week or every other week, or I've even gone like multiple months without posting. So, uh, you know, don't, expect too much on the Instagram side of my social media platforms, but you should go follow me anyways. I love fashion. I have a huge passion for fashion that I don't really express with you guys here on YouTube, although I do definitely plan on it in the future. My favorite high fashion brand is D Squared. I just love their you know, creative process and their artistic ability with their campaigns. I would absolutely love to do a campaign for D Squared. So if anybody here has some sort of connections, then uh, you know, uh, do what you can do, you know. My biggest fashion inspiration is Russell Westbrook, NBA MVP of last year, starting point guard for the Oklahoma City Thunder. He's the fucking man, dude. I love this guy. His fashion is on point. He's an animal on the court. Averaged a triple-double in the season last year. He's a beast. But my favorite athlete is LeBron James. King James, man, he's the GOAT. He's a phenomenal basketball player, four-time MVP, three-time NBA champion. He's the best, man, end of discussion. I suck at basketball, though. <laughs> I played a little bit of basketball when I was younger, but I'm really horrible at it at this point. Um, so yeah, <laughs> still a huge fan, though. I can dunk a basketball, though. Roll it. That video is actually from when I was 18 years old. I haven't tried dunking a basketball in quite some time. That's definitely something I'll have to try soon. <laughs> My first love was motocross. I raced motocross for a few years when I was younger. Um, always have loved motocross. I love anything on two wheels, whether it be biking, motocross, yeah, I guess that's it, but yeah, you get the point. I played football when I was younger and I was actually pretty dang good at it. That's my biggest regret from high school is I wish I would have played football all through high school because I'm very confident that if I did, I could have uh, definitely gotten a scholarship and that would have taken care of a lot of my uh, college tuition. So uh, yeah, that's one regret that I have is not playing basketball, or football, sorry, in high school. But of all the sports that I competed in growing up, what I was definitely the most talented at was track. I'm fast as f man. 
No, but seriously, I uh, set records for my school for the 100 meter dash, uh, 100 meter relay and whatnot when I was like in sixth grade. And this is from a school from sixth grade to ninth grade. So when I was, you know, one of the youngest people at the school, I was still setting records. So uh, yeah, I was really good at track, but uh, never pursued it because I hated the training, hated the practices. I hated having somebody telling me what to do, you know, and that's how I got into weightlifting. I have an older brother and sister. Their names are Justin and Danielle. My brother is two years older than me and my sister is four years older than me and I have a great relationship with them. I love them very much. They are great humans and had a huge impact on you know the way that I turn out as an adult. Next, my parents are still together and I also have a great relationship with them. They are fantastic parents. I love them very much. They've been together for 26 years now. So uh, yeah, good for them, you know? I'm obsessed with self-development. Whether it be emotional, physical, or mental, I am obsessed with making myself better as much as I can. I actually see it sort of as a character flaw because I kind of get in this trap where I feel as though it's never enough, you know, no matter how much research I do, how much learning that I do, how many videos I watch, how many books I read, I'm, it's never enough. Kind of like Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, whatever. No matter how many likes you get, it's never enough. The next week you're gonna want more and more and more, which, you know, can be a good thing. But at the same time, I don't think it's the best thing ever. But you know, at the same time, I think eventually you just have to be happy with the way that you are, so yeah. And actually, that being said, probably about half of the YouTube channels that I'm personally subscribed to are self-development channels. You know, um, Charisma On Command, um, also the Charisma Matrix. Baron does a great job over there. Um, you guys should definitely go check them out if, if you're interested in self-development like I am. Um, and that's also something I kind of plan on implementing into my content. I love, you know, helping other people and teaching them. That's one of my passions in life as well. So uh, you can expect some more of that in the future. I have a ton of favorite YouTube channels and the only way I can rank them is to separate them into categories. When I just need a good laugh, of course, I go to H3H3 or PewDiePie. They're the best, you know, they're untouchable. When it comes to self-development, like I mentioned before, Charisma on Command, Charisma Matrix, but I also like music channels and just creative channels such as um, Luca Fursco and also 88 Rising. They do great stuff over there. My favorite book to date is probably The Alchemist by Paolo Coelho. It's a great motivational book, very passionate. It's about finding your own personal legend and I think everybody should read it in the end. But I meant to ask you guys, if you guys have any book recommendations for me, leave them in the comments below. I'm big on uh, self-development, of course, but also nonfiction. I'm not big on those fake fantasy type stories. But that being said, leave any recommendations in the comments below and I'll be sure to check them out. I listen to all types of music. It definitely just depends on the mood that I'm in or what I'm doing. When I'm working out, I like stuff that goes kind of hard, whether it's some upbeat EDM or it's like some rap, you know, underground rap, um, some of that dark rap like XXX, Tentacion, uh, Suicide boys and things like that so it, it you know it all just depends but uh i definitely like every genre of music my favorite artist right now is billy eilish she's this girl and she's only like 15 or 16 years old but she's great has the voice of an angel and uh she just kills it so yeah check her out so some people compare me to other you know uh beauty slash fashion gurus like uh, Alpha M or Teaching Men's Fashion. But uh, what separates me from them is uh, I feel like I have a bit more knowledge and a bit more artistic ability when it comes to higher end fashion. Don't get me wrong, I love those guys. I think what they're doing is great and they've definitely been a huge inspiration to me. They helped me build my you know foundation of my YouTube channel. But um, uh, moving forward, I definitely am gonna integrate a lot more artistic uh, creative process into my videos and that's that's where that's what's gonna set me apart you know in the long run so yeah look out for that and I think this and I think this brings me to number 25 this will be the last fact for you guys about Brett Maverick I lived in Italy for five months. I was there studying as well as participating in an internship for a wine uh, research project. They needed Americans to help them interview 
American wine importers of Italian wine developers. So was just making cold calls and working with professors there in Italy and it was an excellent time. My roommate and I ended up visiting 10 different countries, probably 25 different cities all across Europe and it was uh, the best time of my life to date. So. Uh, yeah, that's gonna do it guys. That's 25 facts about Brett Maverick. I hope you all enjoyed it thoroughly. I had a good time making it, it was really fun. Let me know if you guys enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments below, talk to me. I read every comment. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Hit the post notification button so you don't miss a thing. And until next time, peace out.